Hello and welcome back to SRB Gaming, and here is the promised mission to Triton, largest moon of Neptune. I was originally going to do Ceres first, but I decided I wanted to visit Triton. Anyway, uh, today we're doing a robotic probe and lander. It is using uh, FASA parts. It has two batteries, one for use and one for backup in case the power supply were to fail. You would want something there so to power it on temporarily. It's got an antenna, some science instruments, and a pretty efficient landing engine. Transferring it there to Neptune is a uh, Vasimir, double Vasimir engine as opposed to the uh, quadruple Vasimir engine I usually use because I wanted to test using smaller, uh, smaller electric engines. And because the probe is so small, you can still do this, although I would have preferred to have a little more fuel. Triton is the, again, largest moon of Neptune. It is in a retrograde orbit, which means that it is rotating opposite of the planet's rotation, orbiting opposite the planet's rotation. So I had to switch my, I had to change from a ret to a retrograde orbit when I initially entered the system by getting a really eccentric orbit and at the apoapsis changing, so it didn't require too much delta v. Triton is a uh, probably a captured Kuiper Belt object because of its retrograde orbit, and uh, if it was in the Kuiper Belt, it would be larger than Pluto and Eris. Uh, it is similar size to them, although larger, slightly larger. And uh, Triton is by far the largest moon of Neptune. There is a, the next most massive moon is Proteus, and Proteus is about the size of Huya, a Kuiper Belt object. It's only like 450 kilometers across, as opposed to Triton, which is larger than Pluto. So yeah, there's this is definitely almost all of the mass in the Neptune system. And uh, I nicknamed the lander Spider because it kind of looks like it, even though it only has four legs. Four landing legs. Spiders have eight, of course. You should know that. And, uh... I was afraid of running out of fuel, but I did not have that issue here. Now, uh, Neptune has some other moons, but other than Proteus, most of them are like re really small. Proteus is already cutting it close for small for KSP. So I didn't actually add any of the other ones in to the mod yet. And uh, those of you asking for the config, it's coming soon. I'm just making sure I get the proper permissions, and that's taking longer than I thought. So just uh, hang in there, and I'll have it released soon. This lander was not planned to come back to Earth because it didn't have parachutes. It could have been a sample return mission, although it did have enough fuel once landing to return to Neptune orbit and uh, possibly escape. So, it, uh, it, it pr pretty big success here. And uh, landing on the surface, again, real solar system planets and stuff don't have very uh, detailed surfaces, which is just kind of annoying. It's I was playing the stock game again. It's just really nice not having to deal with scaled space textures or uh, having like actual craters and stuff when you land. But that's the price you pay. Computers just can't efficiently render such large planets without using up so much memory, and I believe that's why we have to do such bad details. And I can update the height map, but that would just look weird. It, like Pluto on the uh, stock R, not stock RSS, just normal RSS has a very high height deformity, and it just looks strange. Like really jagged peaks everywhere, and they don't look right. And this is the first uh, video where I'm actually going to be including a mission album so it can reach more people. And uh, that should be linked in the description, assuming I remember, which uh, I can almost promise you I will. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video about Triton. Uh, suggest more in the comments. Next should be series. But um, Triton was pretty interesting to visit, and it's the first time I visited Neptune in KSP. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. It very much helps the channel. Comment below with any concerns, and yeah, see you next time.